Hi everyone, this is Austin from Raw Bliss. Um, I wanted to talk today about organic produce um, in comparison to conventional produce. Now, I'm not sure where people get this idea that organic means no pesticide. That's not true. In the organic industry, they do use quite a few pesticides still. Um, and it might surprise some people that in some cases, organic pesticides are actually more toxic, according to the LD50, the lethal dose um, to kill a rat, you know, that they experiment on, all kind of stuff like that. Um, it might surprise some people when they do the research, um, you know, what the reality is when it comes to these pesticides. There is one in particular called copper sulfate, which is far more toxic than even glyphosate, which you guys know is um, the main ingredient in Roundup, you know, Monsanto's spray. So I started looking at, I started comparing, I started looking at the conventional pesticides and the organic pesticides. And it's not just copper sulfate, there's, there's other ones as well. And I encourage you guys to do research like this. Um, people say, you know, oh, you got to buy apples organic, grapes organic, uh, tomatoes organic, right? Because um, that's like the dirty dozen list or something. And they got a skin that you eat, stuff like that. But when I started looking into it, these, uh, it's tomatoes, potatoes, grapes, and apples. These are the most common ones in the organic industry that they use copper sulfate. Okay, and copper sulfate's been linked to brain disorders, um, you know, different lung problems for the farmers. Uh, and you can look into this. It's just, it's really crazy. The more I researched, the more I didn't see much difference between conventional and organic, ex except that copper sulfate was actually more toxic. And there are conventional pesticides that are not as toxic as glyphosate as well. And there's also organic um, ones, which are, you know, completely fine to use, but there's also organic pesticides. This, this kind of blew me out of the water. There's organic pesticides that um, are toxic to bees. There's quite a few actually. And, um, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, we, we do organic on the farm because of the bees, you know, because of the bees. And it's like, well, do you really? Um, because I feel like a lot of people aren't educated on this. Like, I didn't know about this. I just started researching because I saw a video Andrew Perlot did. Andrew Perlot's like a, uh, an athlete. He's a long-term fruitarian, raw foodist, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, it just got me thinking and I started doing some research. So I wanted to share this with you guys because a lot of people think organic is the panacea. We should always buy organic whenever possible. Um, but what I would encourage is to get local, meet the farmers, and meet people who don't spray at all, rather than trusting an organic conglomerate company that sells to supermarkets. Okay, so buy locally, and that's gonna be your best bet. Um, meet the farmers, go to farmers markets, talk to people, you know, get get to know them and learn about the practices that they do on a, on a small scale. On a small scale, you're always gonna get better results because you're not thinking about, you know, there's more attention to detail in small farming. Anyways, that's it for this video. Another small video, small short video for you guys. Thank you for giving it a thumbs up and commenting down below your thoughts. I know this is such a controversial topic. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace and love. See you in the next one.